What I'm about to show you could change the way that you source on Amazon forever, as it has done for me. And I'm really excited about this because this is such a simple addition to a software tool called Arbisource. And I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use it. Now, before we get into that, I want you to know I've tried all the different software tools out there for sourcing from Nepeto to Tactical Arbitrage, to Arbisource, Arbitrage Hero, anything and everything you can think of, I've tried it. And I have been favoring Arbisource recently because of this feature to create a custom scan of websites that they don't currently support. There are a lot of different sourcing tools out there. Most of them don't do this. Tactile Arbitrage does have some functionality for being able to source through stores that aren't currently in their database, but Arbisource makes it extremely easy. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. Now, before we get into that, I want you to know I do have an affiliate link for Arbisource. We can get a 30% discount off your first month. All you have to do is go to askjimmysmith.com forward slash ARB or A-R-B and utilize the code for the 30% off, which is Jimmy30. That's gonna get you 30% off your first month. And so let's get into the video. So as you can see on my screen, I've already pulled up inside of Arbisource the ability to do different scans. And you can see the way that I have utilized this custom extension to pull back things that aren't currently in Arbisource's database. Now, the way to get to this is to actually come over to this Arbisource side panel here. And you just simply wanna click on this little magnifying glass, which brings you to this scans page. Now, these are the completed scans that I've used, you can see all of these are custom scans using their Google Chrome extension. But I've also uh, utilized, you know, their reverse scanning feature, which I covered in a separate video going through a full demo of this platform where I didn't go through the custom scans, but I went through everything else that I really love about Arbisource. You can check that out after the video. I'll make sure to link it in the description for you because you can scan categories. You can scan a whole list of Akipa ASINs that you bring back. You can scan specific stores that they have in their list. But what I love about this feature is you can also scan custom stores. Now you can see here, for example, this Shopify store that I brought brought into it had 222 store products in their Shopify store, 106 were matching products, and three of them matched within my filters that I've set up inside of Arbisource. So we can actually take a look at this before I show you how to set it up. So this particular one was at this Shopify store, it didn't pull back a ton of great profits, this is only an 8% return on investment. But if you follow any of the things that I've taught on this YouTube channel, where you want to save all of your leads, I would be saving this this product and this link so that that way I can save it inside of 3P Mercury or another lead tracking software. So that way that software will always be updating with this information. So this is great because I'm now scanning my own sites that nobody else is scanning or at least haven't been like they would be for all of the stores that are currently supported with Arbisource. So I've got this one at a 2% return on investment for this particular product and a 2% here. These weren't winners, but again, they're leads. They're things that could change to be winners in the future. We could even see the price go up to 170, 100 $80 depending on the time of the year. Now, obviously you want to make sure you're not restricted in this, but Arbisource will show you that information for you as well. So let's get back to the custom scans and walk through exactly how to do this. There's two different ways. First, I love that they actually have an integration. So if it's a Shopify store, it's an easy way to do custom scans. And so we're going to go through that in a minute. But if you need to set up your own custom scan, let's get into this. So I'm going to click into this. I actually went to Rally House. I looked up Michigan products, okay? And I clicked on the first one. Rally House was actually a store that's uh, regional, I would say, because there was ones in Missouri that I've shopped at before. But I looked up Michigan because that's where my prep center is. And uh, this is what came up. Now, what we can see is Rally House actually is not inside of Arbisource's database. And they've got a whole list of hundreds of stores that they automatically integrate with. But I want to source through Rally House's database of items. And I don't have a sourcing tool that can do it unless I wanted to do it one by one on this store. And so Arbisource makes this integration much easier. So all we have to do, we do need their Google Chrome extension completely free or included with the uh, Arbisource subscription. Whenever I click this, you can see it says, hey, it doesn't look like you have a configuration for this site. Now, after you set up this configuration, you can actually have it continue to run this every so often, and you won't have to continue to set this up. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on configure site, and it's going to ask for a couple of different fields. So first is the product title. So I'm just going to simply click on this button, and it's going to let me select the title. So I'm going to select that title right there. Uh, and then I'm going to select here and click on product price. Now I can go ahead and and select that. Also, second product title would be another one. So I'm going to scroll down on the page just to give it a nice reference. I'm going to go with this one here. And then pagination, that's actually the clicking through of different pages on a store's website. And so if there is a page number, typically it will be at the bottom, you would come down here and click on this little uh, next button right here. Okay, and so that's going to go to the next page. Now there are some optional fields if you want to include the brand name, a UPC number, but we don't see any kind of a UPC here. 
in stock or out of stock. I'm not seeing anything on this page that shows in stock or out of stock. Sometimes it will let you know. But for this particular case, I'm going to click on continue and this should start the process. And then, hey, we found 60 products on this page. So to me, this looks like it's working. It's got the image, it's got the title, the price, the URL, etc. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. Now I'm going to click on scrape with Arbisaur. So this is going to let Arbisaur automatically scan this entire site for me. No need to keep the retailer's website or the extension open. It's the best option for most users, but it may not be available for all sites. So I'm going to go ahead and click test with Arbisaur. If this works, then I'm going to let Arbisaur do it. If it doesn't, then we're going to need to use the extension and it's going to be gathering the data directly with your open browser. So you won't be able to close the website if you have to use this scrape with extension. But I'm going to click on test with Arbisaur here. And whenever it tests, it's going to pull back some of those pages and it's going to uh, let me know after a couple minutes, it looks like the automatic pagination failed. And so I can open the current page in a new tab or click to go to the next page, paste the new URL below. And so let me go ahead and click open page. And I want to make sure I'm going to then click on the next page and then give it its URL because this is trying to fix the problem to where maybe it can go through the URL. So we're going to go next here and I'm just going to simply take this. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go back here and paste the next page URL. It's not the one that we were on, but after we click the second page, I'm going to retry this test. If it doesn't work, then we're going to have to use the extension. Now I'm doing this on a website. I haven't done this on before because I wanted you to see how this works live. But what's great is you once this gets to working, you will now have a website that are Arbisource can scrape all of the data. It's going to pull back any listings that are on Amazon as well that are profitable based on your filters. And it's going to allow you to see products that other people aren't able to source automatically by using sourcing software. So I love this. Now with a Shopify store, if this was a Shopify store, which I'll show you in a minute, it's automatically integrated. So any Shopify store that you find, you can have Arbisource go out, scrape the products and pull in a whole database of leads from any Shopify store. And what's great about that is there are millions of Shopify stores. You, A lot of brands will have Shopify stores that you can go ahead and use. There's a lot of regional stores and different products that use Shopify because it's so easy to set up. I have my own Shopify store and what uh, Arbisource is going to do is allow you to do that. Now you can see here the test failed. So what we're going to do is scrape with the extension instead. If the test had worked, I wouldn't have had to use the extension. I'm going to go ahead and click on scrape with extension and uh, I don't have any discount for Rally House. If I did, I would put it in here. I don't have any kind of a price override. This can be helpful sometimes for wholesale and other things. And I'm going to use the account filters that I have. You could do no filters if you just wanted to get all the products, which is great if you want to go through those. But I'm going to use the account filters and click on start scrape. And so you can see that it's going to go through. It found 60 new products, 60 total products, and it's scraping this page. And then it went to the next page It found more products. It's going to continue going to page by page until it finishes through. I think there's 136 in this Michigan specific one. So because it wasn't able to use Arbisource directly, now I have to keep my browser open and allow it to scrape through everything so that then it can source. Now, I'm not actually going to sit here right now for 136 different pages, but it's gone through, I think seven, it's on page seven right now. It's switching to page eight. It's gone through a lot of products very quickly and it's scraping them to Arbisource so that then it can start the sourcing process on Amazon. So I'm gonna click stop scraping. Typically, I would allow this to keep running until it ran out of the different products that I wanted it to. Let's go ahead and click stop. Most likely it's not gonna find too much because this is Michigan specific products, you never know. I'm going to then click on send 597 to Arbisource because I just stopped it. If I had let it complete, I would then have waited and it would have said, you know, send 10,000 products to Arbisource and it would have done that. So I'm going to click on continue and we're good See, because I sent all of these products. So I could scrape another category. I could then continue scraping if I wanted to have it continue scraping that page, but I'm just going to go ahead, go back here to the Arbisource scans. And now you can see, hey, this extension was done at Rally House. It's going to take a few minutes for it to actually run through, get those products, get that information information and start matching things if there are any matches. Now, again, this was just a an example that I had for you. But if you are interested in checking out Arbisource, I just want to remind you, you can go to askjimmysmith.com forward slash ARB. This is an affiliate link, but I love this extension. This is my favorite sourcing tool right now. I love all the other ones too. They have a lot of great features and benefits that I've covered on this YouTube channel that ultimately Arbisource has a lot of features that I think elevate it to the next level. Additionally, you get that 30% off with code Jimmy30. Let's go ahead and go to an actual shop. 
Shopify store. So I'm going to close out of this Rally House one right here, going to go to this Shopify store. Before I do that, though, you can see out of the 597 products, it's already found 24 matching products. It's currently running 37 matching products. Now, there are zero within my filters, and I've actually asked to be able to pull back and see all of those uh, Amazon products from their customer support team. So they may be able to add that in the future where I could actually download and see every matching product, but I haven't gotten confirmation yet. But that's just what I'm hoping to see. But anyway, let's get into the Shopify store. So this is actually a Shopify store. I'm going to click no thank you, although I could use the 10% off. But if you don't know, the easiest way to know within Arbisource is to just simply go up here, click on the Chrome extension, and you're going to have this. Now it says, hey, this is Shopify detected. And so I'm going to click on scrape the entire site just because. Why not? Let's see what pulls back. There's a lot of different things. And I'm going to click on, I don't have any discount, although I just had one pull in. So I'm going to do 10% discount because you saw that if I signed up for an email, I got 10% off. I'm going to leave this here. And then the account filters, I'm going to click on start scrape. And so what's what it's doing, it just scraped the entire catalog, which is great. I sent 218 to Arbisource and it scraped it for me. It went through every single thing. Let me see what happens if I click on scrape entire category. Let's try scrape multiple categories. Doesn't look like there are any other categories in here. I'm going to click on find. And so this is the one category that it pulled back. All of these different tools, it may just be every single thing in their tools collection, or it could have actually scraped all of the products. It looks like in the tools section, there's probably only 20. So it went through and got 200 something products from probably the other collabs and knife maintenance, knife scales, etc. This is just a random Shopify site, by the way, this isn't a place I've ever sourced. But I wanted to show you how quick that went. I go back to the scans here, you can see now the uh, extension with the Shopify uh, extension is in queue. So it can only do one at a time, but it did pull back those 200 something products and uh, it will start running that as soon as this one is done running as well. Probably not going to find as many matching things from that particular site. But what I love about this, let's say that you were to find a Shopify store or a store that isn't on Arbisource that does have profitable products. You saw with the this one, it had three that pulled back out of those. This one was zero out of 2000 products. This was two out of 6000 products. But if you found a site that was a good honey hole, so to speak, or a brand that is selling using Shopify, you can now scrape those using Arbisource so easily and will pull back everything within your filters. Okay. Now, again, since there's zero results here, I'm just going to go ahead. If I click view results, it's not going to pull anything back for me because there wasn't anything there. Now I could adjust my filters right now. I've got them fairly wide open. Let me though, go ahead and just do uh, as wide as possible and see if there's anything else that I can pull in. So I'm going to take out any of this. I'm going to see if that changes things under miscellaneous. I just want to see if I can pull back any types of products in here. This is pretty wide open that I have in these filters match confidence. I'm going to just drop that down and see what pulls up and I'm going to click on apply filters if that changed anything. It didn't. And most likely it's because the products in there were negative profit because again, it wasn't an actual targeted scan. Ultimately, this is doing the work for you. So instead of me sitting there going through Rally House doing one by one of all those products, those Michigan products specifically, and seeing that uh, I'm gated in them or seeing that ultimately they're not profitable, I just saved myself a ton of time by using this custom scan. Hopefully this helps to show you kind of the, the benefit of these custom scans. I personally love these. I still think there are other great ways to use Arbisource, such as using the reverse scan with Keepa and finding good ASINs, adding them to the reverse filters, and then it's going to source its database to pull back those leads. And we've gone through that on that other demo video that I highly recommend checking out. But again, if you're interested in checking out Arbisource, all you have to do is go to askjimmysmith.com forward slash ARB. You can use the code Jimmy30 for 30% off your first month and you get a free trial. I believe it's seven days or something. But ultimately, I'd love it. If you have any questions, post them down below. This is just a couple of the ways that you can best use the custom scans. There's so much more to do with Arbisource that I love and I've covered on this channel. So I hope this video helped you and bless you. And you have a great rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week.